Hey guys, tired as fuck, and I'm here to talk to you about my most anticipated albums of the new year. The new decade. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Yeah, Alright, to kick this off, what am I anticipating? Well, for starters, we've got the new Suicide Silence coming out on Valentine's Day, no other. Looking forward to see, is this going to be the redemption or is it going to be another flop? We'll soon see. We also got new Tame Impala coming out on the same day as well. I think I know already which one will be better. Followed by that, we have the new Grimes album coming out. She's dropped a few tracks already and I am thoroughly looking forward to it. Ethereal, cosmic, extraterrestrial, you get the idea of what you're going to be in for. Followed by that, we've also got albums that potentially could drop from bands such as Veil of Maya and Novelist FR, both sort of gent bands, metalcore bands. They both dropped singles that came out last year. Looking forward to them, especially Veil of Maya, who have gone back to an earlier producer who I more preferred when it came to the production style. And Novelist FR, with their single they put out, it shows that they're continuing on with what they do best with their sound. Looking forward to see what they do with it. And beyond that, we have some speculative uh, release that potentially could come out. Uh, one of them being uh, the band Cryptodira, who put out an album in 2018, which for me became one of my favorite albums of all time, not just that year. Combining math rock, noise rock, progressive elements, punk, in a way that didn't feel bloated, and it had a really enjoyable listening experience with it. Followed by that, we also have the potential of a new Tesseract album coming sometime next year. Looking forward to see Will Will it outdo Sonder or will it be able to just like, you know, be about the same level or maybe even, or maybe even worse, who knows? And of course, potentially a new Polyphia album. They're pretty much due for another one. Progressive band combining a lot of elements into the instrumental gent field. And they have proven from album to album that pretty much anything can be used in an effective manner. There was a teaser dropped by Tim Henson that potentially showed the idea of more Spanish oriented guitar work. So looking forward to that. Most likely Polyphia, they'll probably knock it out of the park because they've pretty much knocked out of the park for every album they've put out. Moving on, potentially, we could see another Run The Jewels record. They put out Run The Jewels 3, which became a huge, exe- huge success. And for some people, it's been put in albums of the decade lists. So Run The Jewels 4, could it be a potential uh, release that will come out in 2020? It'd be a great way to start the new year. Just to stick it in the rap community as well. Uh, potentially a new Death Grips album. The Sacramento Trio coming out with another experimental rap electronic project. Them being them will probably... There'll be no clue as to what it'll sound like. No matter how much you want to try and pinpoint it, it probably won't sound what you think. Yeah, so this was just a short video of uh, the albums I am anticipating. The coming new year, most likely a lot more albums will drop, but, and I'll be looking forward to them as well. Yeah, besides that, thank you for watching. Uh, this is pretty much going to be my last video for 2019, so I hope you have a new good New Year's. Uh, all my social media is in the description if you want to follow. And as always, subscribe, and I'll see you later.